The Therizinosaurus is one of the largest and most unique species to appear in prehistoric planet, and honestly, is probably the most accurate Therizinosaurus reconstruction in a documentary. But how accurate is it? Well, in this video, I'm going to be talking about everything good and bad about the prehistoric planet Therizinosaurus. As usual, I will first start off with the bad or inaccurate parts, then I will go on to the good or accurate parts. And to absolutely no one's surprise, there are very little inaccuracies with the prehistoric planet Therizinosaurus, as Apple TV has actually done the research when making this documentary. Unlike a certain other documentary. Now the first inaccuracy I was able to find is with the toes. Now like I said with my everything good and bad about the Jurassic World Dominion Therizinosaurus video, I mentioned how Therizinosaurus has four toes to support its weight. Now while the Therizinosaurus in prehistoric planet does have four toes, the fourth toe is very vestigial, like, it's not touching the ground like the rest of its toes, and it's not even supporting the Therizinosaurus. Therizinosaurus had four toes to support its very large size, as it, alongside with Dinochirus and T-Rex, were the largest theropod dinosaurs. The southern accuracy could just be a play on perspective, but it's with the claws. The claws seem too straight. Therizinosaurus had curved claws to help it hook down branches to eat. And in Prehistoric Planet, the claws seem too straight. Now, they're not as straight as the JP's Theories claws. Literally, look at them. They're so straight. But they seem a little too straight, like they're not curved. Though in this one shot here, the Theories claws look to be accurately curved. But in another one right here, they seem to be very straight. Again, this could just be a play on perspective. But yeah, I'm just going to put it here because I'm not sure if the claws are actually straight or accurately curved. Someone tell me in the comments below if they're actually curved or not. And to absolutely no one's surprise, there was very little inaccuracies with the Therizinosaurus. And even then, one of the inaccuracies I just pointed out, I could just be wrong about that. Before I move on, I'm just going to put this here just in case people didn't read the message I put up earlier. But credit to whoever made these drawings. These are really, really good. So the very first accuracy I want to point out that is very obvious to literally everyone is that the Therizinosaurus and Prehistoric Planet is feathered. But not just feathered, but fully feathered. With wings, a tail fan, a full coat of feathers, and some really nice head feathers. The reason we know why the Tickle Chicken has feathers is because one of its relatives, I'm going to pronounce this wrong, Beat Palosaurus had feathers. This means that Therizinosaurus likely did have a coat of feathers. Though there has been debate whether Therizinosaurus was fully feathered or sparsely feathered. But most people seem to agree that Therizinosaurus was most likely fully feathered. And most reconstructions show it to be fully feathered, of course. Another accuracy is that the Therizinosaurus is seen using its claws to get food. Therizinosaurus probably did use its claws to get food, as in Prehistoric Planet, the Therizinosaurus whacks a bee's nest to get to its honey, and then, well, eats the honey. Therizinosaurus, specifically the chicks, are seen eating plants, and this is accurate, Therizinosaurids ate plants. Originally coming from a line of meat-eating dinosaurs, Therizinosaurus evolved to eat plants. Both the adult Therizinosaurus and the baby Therizinosauruses always have their hands in the correct hand position, which is a big positive in Prehistoric Planet, as all the theropods have their hands in the correct hand position. This is slowly becoming normal. I am so glad it is. Another accurate detail, which I actually can't tell if it's true or not, but the Therizinosauruses seem to have cheeks. Cheeks to chew food as they were probably one of the few species of dinosaurs that could actually chew food. Others being Hadrosaurus, Ceratopsians, and Stegosaurus. Another accurate detail is that the Therizinosaurus is said to be one of the largest dinosaurs. And this is true, as Therizinosaurus, alongside with Dinochirus, T-Rex, and maybe Spinosaurus, were one of the largest theropod dinosaurs. Therizinosaurus and Dinochirus being the tallest, T-Rex being the most massive, and Spinosaurus being the longest. Well, that was everything good and bad about the prehistoric planet Therizinosaurus. If I missed anything, tell me in the comments below. But anyways, that's it everyone. Alright then, goodbye.